There you go. Once in a while, I do this thing whereby I open the things that I buy online in front of the camera. I need something to fill up the time. If looking at me opening parcels on the camera is very boring for you, you can click right here to skip it. I'm a big fan of buying things online, it's just convenient. Um, and most of the stuff that I get is not available in Singapore. Like this, um, battery, laptop battery. My laptop fan is dying. Speaker assembly. Do not take apart. This is supposed to last for 10 years, so people say. We will see. Uh, okay. Hey! I still have one of these. This is the iPad 2. That was in 2011. You see all this stuff? And the back cover. This is the smart cover things. Ooh. Do not ask why I got pink. Why did you get pink? She said pink as a joke. I took her seriously, I got it. Five years on, it's still here. Now she's my wife. Hello, Roger. Yes. Yeah. What? Why in the world? Why do I have so many things? Look, classy. This cover. <coughs> this cover bought from China for five bucks. Come boy. <laughs> this particular box is a gift from my wife to me and herself. The dog doesn't get one of these. <laughs> These are the thousand helmets. There's just one helmet inside though. Disclaimer that if you die while wearing this helmet, they are not liable for it. Mm. Very fancy. Look at leather straps. This buckle, this buckle is magnetic or something. Ooh. Hi Oscar, you have anything you want to open? Any new toys? Sock for you? This is... What's his name? Duck 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 There, there you go No? Okay And that concludes the end of this segment <laughs> Helmet, it's a bit loose Look at this Old fancy house New fancy house quite liking this look. Ha ha! Hey, your ice cream. Pro tip when I eat McDonald's, get this McSpicy with cheese right on top you could do this at the store i just forgot today so cheese dale's gonna have to do what are you eating fries just watch tv i hope i win forty thousand dollars out of this guy though And this is the Hero 4, if you realize the wife has imposed a new rule helmet every time I ride the 9 bot. Yep. I'm going to hold all three cameras together and we'll see how it goes. Note is now something like 7pm so the light's not that great but it'll be good to see the uh, sound in wind and low light capabilities.
Okay, so the image might not be very aligned because I'm kind of holding them just one on top of the other. This will be a very good test for the audio between the Hero Plus, the 4 Black and the Hero 5. I was looking at the footage I was editing just now, there are some things I need to clear up. The GoPro Plus, the Hero Plus is the one that is stuck inside the underwater housing the one so that's why the audio on that guy seems to be a uh, like 100% lower than normal the hero 4 black which is this guy is on a skeletal housing or the frame so that is the main camera that I'm shooting on right now the hero 5 is the one that I loaned there was a configuration mistake whereby the color of the footage was on flat instead of GoPro color as it should be everything else however was the same it was all on full HD uh, the 4 and the 5 was not recording on 4k they are all in 1080 HD 50 frames a second uh, the hero plus however is only on 25 not that it should make much of a difference the one thing that I didn't have much time to figure out was the sound on the GoPro 5 uh, apparently it has three microphones or something like that something along that line you know let me go find let me go find out the actual term mm. actually three microphones on the camera what it's able to do is cherry pick the best sound from each one and combine that into a brand new track and it's happening automatically it's happening actively every time you record also the hero 5 was on image stabilization which was why the frame was cropped in about 10 percent that's what it does the low light for the 4 and 5 seems to be comparable but in any case here's a few more shots of the gopro 5 at night uh this was along the waterways the kind of a park thing so there's not a whole lot of light going on uh Maybe this scene with more light might be a better comparison. This is on the wide angle. Then now there's a linear view. Yeah, looks more flat, right? So that not everything looks like it's a fish eye effect kind of a thing. And I'm not sure how the audio picks up well on this guy. I'm gonna have to return this today. So back to the GoPro 4. Also, everything about this camera, the ports, the framing, uh, everything seems a little bit tight. Maybe it's because of the waterproof features of and the rubber seal and stuff like that the touch screen wasn't as intuitive as it could have been so i don't know maybe i'm just very used to just punching buttons all the time but the buttons on this guy has more tactile feedback so yeah pros and cons you know